Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Hina from Dr. Teeth and you're listening to the first episode of Dr. Teeth Podcasts where we would discuss and answer commonly asked questions related to dental health or dentistry in general. Today we have Dr. Shaista with us who is an alumni of Manipal College of Dental Sciences, Manipal. Dr. Shaista, welcome to Dr. Teeth. So what are we going to talk about today? Thank you Dr. Hina for having me here. So the number one question that I get asked most often by patients in the clinic is why are my teeth yellow? Is it because I'm not brushing correctly or is it because of my diet and what can I do to make them look whiter? Absolutely doctor. I think especially in our Asian subcontinent we have a lot of chai drinkers, tea lovers. We drink as many as 3 cups of tea in a day. We also have coffee which is quite popular among the younger generation. I myself love coffee and a lot of people can be seen chewing paan and smoking cigarettes too. People don't realize that all these little things build up and can cause their teeth to become yellow in the long process. You're right. So tea, coffee and especially tobacco have such a big role to play in the staining of teeth. And the way this happens is that it occurs over a period of time, right? Like you won't drink a cup of black coffee or chew one pan and then the very next day your teeth are yellow. It happens over a period of time, right? Bit by bit. And you don't notice it right away until it gets really bad. And then you wake up one morning, you look in the mirror and you're like, Hey, I think my teeth look a little bit yellow. Yeah, for sure. So another thing to remember is that teeth staining or teeth turning yellow can be a natural process by itself. Older people have yellower teeth. It's a fact. As you age, your teeth naturally wear out through eating, brushing or teeth grinding. So quickly for those who don't know, our tooth is made up of different layers. The top layer of our teeth is made up of something called as the enamel which is white in color and below the enamel we have dentine which is yellowish. When a tooth wears out naturally or through habits like aggressive brushing or teeth grinding, the top layer becomes thin and the dentine starts to show and this is what gives the tooth a yellowish appearance. And I have also had patients with acidity problem especially gastric reflex problem and they often on complain about yellow teeth. A lot of young girls also with eating disorders like bulimia and anorexia, they complain of yellow teeth. Right. So in both the cases, there is a kind of wear and tear that we talked about before. But this time it's chemical. So the acid in the stomach, which is naturally present to digest food in our body, is very strong. People with a gastric reflex problem or girls with bulimia, what they do is they bring back the acid from the stomach to their mouth when they vomit. And the culprit in this case is the acid. It causes thinning of the enamel and exposure of the yellow dentine. So Dr. Shaista, what are the other causes of tooth yellowing? So drinks like Pepsi, Cola, and even wine can cause the tooth to become discolored. We know that calculus, which is a hard substance formed on the tooth surface when you don't brush properly, it can also take up color from the food that we eat and cause the tooth to become yellow. Now, these are all the things that we can control. But for some people, even if they stay away from such food and drinks, their teeth can become yellow. Yes, of course. There are some conditions that you cannot control. For example, if you have a developmental defect during tooth formation, when your teeth are forming, you can get something called amelogenesis imperfecta and dentinogenesis imperfecta. And this what happens is there is formation of abnormal enamel or dentine, which is intrinsically yellow and weak. Similarly, if you have excess fluoride in your body, from the water you drink, from toothpaste or any other source, your teeth can become yellow. A lot of regions in North Karnataka suffer from this problem because 
because the local water contains high level of fluoride. You also have drugs like tetracycline and monocycline which cause tooth staining. Mouthwashes containing chlorhexidine if used for more than 2-3 weeks may also result in yellow discoloration. So now that we spoke about so many causes for tooth yellowing, do you recommend that patients should go to the dentist for consultation first? and find out the exact cause before trying out any home whitening treatments? Yes, for sure. For those who don't know yet, we treat tooth staining with a combination of mechanical cleaning, which is called as scaling by the dentist, and sometimes called as bleaching. The most basic step that everybody has to undergo is mechanical cleaning. After doing that, depending on the severity, the patients are advised tooth bleaching or tooth whitening as we say in layman terms. So with tooth bleaching, we usually use peroxides and these peroxides have to be used very carefully in the correct concentrations and for the correct time. Otherwise, they can harm your gums and make them look red and swollen. True, a lot of home whitening kits are being marketed everywhere. Many of them contain peroxides, Patients need to understand that there is a proper technique we follow and if you let these chemicals stay on your teeth for a very long time, they can cause more harm to your teeth than good. Also, the home whitening treatment kits have very little concentration of the active chemicals. Don't you think the patients are kind of losing out on the real deal by not going to the dentist first? Yes, so there are a lot of whitening products available in the market. We have whitening toothpaste, whitening mouthwashes, whitening strips and whitening tray system. So all of these have very little concentration of active ingredients required for tooth whitening. The manufacturers, they know how harmful these chemicals can be if patient misuse them in higher concentration. So they want us to be safe means the patients to be right. safe. So dentists have products with higher concentration of the required ingredients in their clinic and this is what will give you the quickest results. Dentists are trained to perform these procedures. They know how to handle these chemicals and they won't make mistakes. So usually in the dental clinic we have a laser or blue light which increases the effectiveness of the tooth whitening chemicals. A lot of people are apprehensive of using lasers. They think that the laser might damage their eyes, their skin or other body parts. Yeah, so the patient need not be afraid of lasers. Dentists have protective measures in place which prevent the laser from having any harmful effects. That's great to know. So wrapping up very quickly, I think we just have one last topic to discuss. So what should patients do after they have undergone a tooth whitening treatment at the dental clinic? So people need to take certain precautions. Firstly, they need to stop their habit. Like if they are heavy smokers, they need to stop that. If they are heavy coffee or tea drinkers, wine drinkers, etc., they need to reduce it. A lot of Indian dishes have turmeric. I believe turmeric can also cause staining, right? So usually after a tooth whitening session, we recommend that for at least 24 to 48 hours, patients should not have any food or drinks that will stain their teeth. After that, they can eat normally. Super. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Shaista. We have discussed so much about teeth whitening today. I hope our listeners have got some useful information from this podcast. Thank you. Let me know in the comment section below the topics you want me to cover in the upcoming podcast. Please leave a thumbs up if you find it helpful. Bye-bye for now. Take care. Alhafiz.